Hi friends, we're learning about biographies this week, so there's a few people you should absolutely know from the world of children's literature, and they are the ambassadors of children's literature. The Library of Congress, a few years ago, created this title, the National Ambassador of Young People's Literature, and then people are selected, usually children's book authors, to represent literacy as a nation and do a lot of different public service things for a period of two years. So the first um, person who was chosen to be the ambassador of children's literature was John Sheska. I never know if I say his name right or not, but I think that's how you say it. Anyway, he had a two-year span, and he's the author of a variety of different books and also of the Boys Read campaign. Here's, here's a little bio about him. Um, if you are the ambassador, you do get paid $50,000, and it has a lot of different sponsors. Some are corporate sponsors, like Cheerios and a variety of book publishing houses also contribute. Um, so he travels around and does different speaking engagements and just helps promote children's literature to America. Um, Sheska was born in Michigan and he taught school for a while and then he became an author so he is mostly famous for his ability to get boys to read more and he has a great um, website called guysread.com which is really fun to go explore if you've got time here are some of his books that I have he likes to team up a lot with Lane Smith as his illustrator this is um, these are poems about math these are poems about science one of his most famous books is the stinky cheese man where he takes fairy tales and does a spin on them this is another famous one that he's done, The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. It's quite funny. The second ambassador was Katherine Patterson, and we just read a book by her, The Great Gilly Hopkins. She has won many awards. She's a two-time Newbery Medaler and National Book Award. Here's some of her most popular ones, Bridge to Terabithia and Jacob Have I Loved and Great Gilly Hopkins. She's won many, many awards, including the Hans Christian Andersen Medal, which is the highest award internationally for children's literature. And she was, um, she did a two-year span as ambassador as well. Following Catherine Patterson was Walter Dean Myers. He's more of a controversial writer. He likes to write about inner city um, issues, and he also is a poet. So many of his novels are written in um, poetry form, and here's one of his most popular books called Monster. He also, these are some of his other titles as well. Following Myers was Kate DiCamillo. She has written um, Because of Winn-Dixie, Tale of Despero. Some, a lot of people mentioned her as one of her favorites um, for some of her books. Here's the, t the book covers of some of hers. Her book Because of Winn-Dixie did win the Newbery Medal. Here's a more recent one that she's written, Pink, Bink and Golly. This is also another recent one, Flora and Ulysses. I liked that one a lot. Um, and some people mentioned their favorite book ever in this course was The Mysterious Adventures of Edward Tulane. And this is her most recent book right there that's published. Our current ambassador is Jean Luen Yang. He is a graphic um, novel art, uh, graphic novel author, and he's a great speaker. He's really interesting to listen to, and he has written many um, graphic novels. His most famous one was American Born Chinese. It's won the National Book Award and many other awards as well. And he's working on a series of graphic novels called Secret Coders about computer programming. So he's done a really good job lately as the ambassador. Um, these are the different organizations that sponsor it as well as all of these publishing houses. So it's kind of a nice collective. Um, a lot of different people come together to select who the ambassador is and then following their, um, each ambassador kind of puts an agenda together for their time in office and it's interesting to see how they how they go about their time in office. But um, usually there isn't any other thing that all these publishing houses come together toward other than uh, maybe book awards. So it's a fun little thing to know about for children's literature.